Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, like we talked about earlier today, the Bulls were out defending their grounds. And we asked the question, was it a bull trap set by the criminal gangsters or was this going to be a more phenomenal move? And right now we broke above some key resistance, right? That we were talking about this morning when we looked over what to look for today. Let's look out in the four hourly. You can see we got above that rising channel right there and above that green support uh, upper resistance. And now we're trying to come up to that 200 day moving average in the three hour time frame. Just like when you look on the breakdown and the break up, you look for the, uh, go to the three hour time frame and look for the 200 day moving average. Uh, and it'll act as either underneath support or overhead resistance. And in this case, I think it's gonna act as overhead resistance because the volume has come in a little bit, but nothing spectacular. It's still declining overall. So I think you're gonna come up to that overhead resistance and you're gonna run into some major, major, uh, major blockages in the row. That's gonna be your key level now in Bitcoin. Like when we told you earlier today, you could get up into here. Can you finish getting up to where we thought we would, the 200 day moving average? And then when you get rejected off it and you come back and back test this underneath support, can you catch a bounce and continue on in the bull run? Or do you get reject when you get rejected, because you will by the 200 day, do you get do you fail support and then break back down into this triangle and then about and then all together break down out of the continuation pattern, right? So we're gonna keep an eye out on what happens as you run into this overhead 200 at about 44,869. Then as you come back and back test some of this major underneath support now at about 42,869, right? That's gonna be critical. Does it hold support and bounce? Or does it fail it and fall down? We're gonna keep an eye out on that. Uh, the Dogecoin is the same thing. We're trying to break up to the upper part of this falling channel or falling wedge, right? And this morning we were at about that white, just above the white line and we're starting to eke our way even higher now. And we're gonna try to come up to that 21 cents, that major overhead resistance on a retest, right? Something like this. And then if you can't, if you get rejected by that overhead resistance, you can start to trade back down, right? So that's what to watch out for. Can it get all the way up to that 21 cents? 21 and a half cents and then what does it do there does it gain support and gain some steam and some footing and blast through that or does it get harshly rejected and start trading back down because as we zoom out you know we're in this falling wedge right here uh it's the weekly that's too far of a time frame we need the four hour time frame see that you can see that falling wedge right there and we're getting close to the bottom of that falling wedge so we're gonna see if that can't get up to and retest that upper resistance again, right? So that's what's going on there in the Doge. This is just a quick, simple, laid back update as I'm driving home from the old uh, work. You can see this is another uh, symmetrical triangle, just like that symmetrical triangle up here where that arrow is that broke down because it's a neutral continuation pattern, but it entered into this neutral continuation pattern, the symmetrical triangle, uh, in a bear pattern or a bearish pattern, right? So that would let me to believe this would be a bearish continuation pattern. And once again, once again, uh, we're going to go over, right? And this centered in in a downwards crash off of the targeted move from the breakdown of the previous symmetrical triangle up down. And then right here with that green arrow is your upper resistance for the first time and your yellow arrow is your lower support after the crash and the fulfilling of the targeted move into this symmetrical triangle. And since this too is coming into this neutral continuation pattern in a bear trend, uh, you would have to assume that even if you get a big fake out, you would eventually break down and then your possible targeted move on a breakdown is way down there. You can see I got a highlighted uh, price target on breakdown about 73 uh, 0.69 cents, right? Just below 74 cents in this continuation pattern. So now that we're in this upper end, we could come up to this major overhead resistance at 98 cents again on a big overshoot, kind of like you did back here with our industry exclusive drawing tool, kind of like you did here and then quickly wick down with heavy sell pressure. You could do something like that again. So keep an eye on that if you weasel your way up here and then get rejected on a nice phenomenal all and glowing enticing double top fake out 
right? And then you crash down to that targeted move. That's what we're going to be watching for an XRP. Uh, as we move on to the C low, you can see C low has been crashing, just like we told you from way back here in the daily time frame. Remember that? Uh, that big top with that nice arrow and our white circle. We told you it was going to crash and be choppy. Then we came all the way down to the 200 day moving average in the daily time frame. And then we told you that'd be a great spot to bounce, right? And you came all the way down there and you had a phenomenal bounce off that 200 day moving average. Uh, that's why it's very important to play the technicals. If you're going to be a technical trader, you play the technicals and you can make a lot of money. And then you did come up for that fabulous glowing uh, uh, bull trap enticing semi double top from when you crashed and you came back up and it looks like a man sitting in a chair right and you get that big triple hump down so now i would suspect if you don't hold this major five dollars and eighty cents you're gonna trade up and down in a quick fashion back down to that three dollar uh 69 cent neckline right so that's what's going on in celo uh like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. I'll give you further updates this evening as I put together a uh, October forecast. Peace and love. Peace and love.